you grip the wheel of your souped-up V8 interceptor. Your engine roars as you tear through the apocalyptic wasteland. All of a sudden, a shot rings out, shattering your windscreen and barely missing you by an inch. You swerve, and your car flips. You're thrown free, but you land hard on the desert wasteland. You gasp for breath. Several figures begin to approach you from the dunes. Your gun, just out of reach. Could this be the end of your mystery quest? Welcome everybody to Morkborg, the Goblin Grinder, part two. Last time on Mystery Quest, after getting embroiled in a revolution they wanted no part of, our degenerate heroes fled into the sewers where they had a mishap with an explosive. One of the party members is dead, but now we are joined by a new member, Colin the Duck. Uh, okay, so well, we all like die wow. for cover. <laughs> you die for cover. Anyone that did die for cover, um, you have gone into the poops. Oh, uh, it was the the safest place, to be yeah. honest. I think the cushioning effect of feces mm. kept you alive from this explosion. As you kind of come <laughs> come to, <laughs> uh, there are heavily armed guards barreling out of the room up ahead of you. Uh, Oily boy and yourself were seized by by these guards oh. that were waiting in this room. If that bomb had have gone off, it would have been amazing, amazing. <laughs> Tightly packed room full of armed guards. That's a but shame I rolled a one. Isn't <laughs> it? The yeah. crit made this even better. Fuck! Can I and try and submerge <clears throat> myself in the shit to while the others get captured? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Make me a toughness uh, toughness roll. Thirteen. 13. Sure, yeah. You are submerged in shit. How many of these guards are there that have, like, uh, uh, grabbed uh, Bungus Bungus and uh, Oily Boy? Uh, there's maybe, like, two two guards on Bungus Bungus, um, an extra couple who are coming for you. Maybe there's sort of seven or eight in total. So that's quite a lot. Enough to make it kind of spooky scary. Mm. Uh, and you are all, all grabbed, and they completely do not notice Cardinal Kettle. Um, oily boy. It's like, see, see, I, I told you I could bring, bring them to you. I'm, will you pay me now? Look, there's, there's, there's four of them, apart from the one that exploded. <laughs> and I'm not counting the duck. Uh, but there's, I brought, I brought four. That's forty silver. He said if I brought the rebels, you pay me. And uh, the sort of head, head of the guards is there, sort of like handing out coins to them. Like, wait a second, I only, I only count, count three. The pile of blood. <laughs> oh. So I am now. This one. Hi. <laughs> what, what, what is going on here? There's no rebels. We were caught up in that barricade. We were trying to flee with our lives. No, they definitely yeah, are. They definitely are rebels. He's a bloody rebel. Him and his brother that we killed. <laughs> no, I I killed him. No, you bloody didn't, you little shitty liar. I did it. No, I don't think so. In fact. I think you should tell the truth. Nope, because the truth is exactly what I don't want you to say. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look at him, and yeah. I'm gonna say to him like, "No, you should tell them that you're the rebel and that we're innocent." And I want to use Jedi my, mind trick. My, my Jedi mind trick. My Enochian syntax scroll. Okay. Uh, that I want to try and use. Great. Um, I might need to get another. Uh, Ab absolutely. Another toughness test. This is going to be harder now yeah. for you to be able to stay underwater. <laughs> Eight. Eight. You just have to emerge. <laughs> and just get a breath of air because a lot of a lot of conversations going on. A lot on. of conversations happening. Uh, and you're seized by some of the other guards. Okay, I'm so you're going to use my power, my knock-in syntax. Okay, great. Uh, uh, you cast this. Cast this is power. presence, right? Yeah, you're rolling your presence. Um, uh, that is going to be uh, 18. 18. My luck is really holding out strong. Cool. Tell me what, <coughs> one what your command is. One creature blindly obeys a single command. My command was to tell these people that they are a rebel and that we're innocent. Oh, actually, I'm the rebel, and they're definitely innocent. See, I told I... you, I'm Duke <laughs> Belsom III. The, third. the uh, leader of the guards just seems just confused and annoyed. My good man, 
This is clearly a rebel. We were just trying to escape. He told us he could help us get out of that den of wretched rebels and heretics. That's, that's the mission we had sent him on. He's, we've been working with him for months. Infiltrating this, uh, right? Yes, but we are cell. those people. We were trying to escape from their evil wickedness to do their their heretical good deeds. Oh yes, uh, definitely they're innocent, and I did all the rebel stuff. Uh, I'm going to need some sort of presence test from each of you to see whether or not. Sure. Uh, this is going to be a harder one. I need a 14 on this. Ugh. 13. I rolled an 11. <laughs> I only got a 10, is my highest. I I'm a 6, but I'm a duck. So I'm not sure what I'd do anyway. I got one. You got a crit? <laughs> no, I rolled a... Okay. Uh, what's my presence? Minus two, I rolled a three. Okay, <laughs> just doing, <laughs> just doing oh, God's work. Really smashing so good. this. Okay, well, I don't I don't know about this at all. Uh, look, we're, we're going to have to take you, take you before the judge and let her work this out. Um, judge. I'm, Look, I'm hearing conflicted tales, and this is all above my pay grade. Look, she'll get it all sorted out if, uh, you know, if you guys are clean. Um, also, we might need to get you cleaned up a little bit as well, because you stink. I will accept that part of it, yes. We're, Take me to go somewhere clean. We're now. taking you to court. <laughs> Amazing. Ex <laughs> excellent contribution. Uh, so you guys find yourself... Uh, currently residing in jail. Uh, maybe about sort of um, 10 or 15, a random number of the people that were in the tavern are also here. Uh, they <laughs> oh. are all looking a little bit worse for wear, a couple of them missing limbs, badly patched up. They've definitely been in some kind of terrible fight. Uh, burns are covering all of them, and it seems like they're sort of rebellion to try and save the Cockroach King has not gone well. Where's the Chester? Jingly John. Jingly John. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Jingly John. It's always with me. And here is where <clears throat> I am song. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm right here with all of you. <laughs> Don't we all smell like poo? <laughs> okay, great, Jingly John. Nice. Got all the other prisoners are just looking just mad. Like, <laughs> should we dag it? Just hating on you. Mm. So... Uh, this prison is sort of like in like a old cattle market, and you guys are all in the sort of animal pens. Um, the promise of being cleaned up has not been fulfilled, and there is just just poop everywhere. Uh, once, uh, you know, animals would be kept in here, but now it is an impromptu sort of jail uh, attached to where the main cattle market is. And as time goes by little groups of the other other people that were captured are being taken off and every time these big doors open you see into the sort of like the the ring area uh, where normally sort of uh, there would be uh, like auctions for cattle and they are dragged in there and there is a big crowd of people watching and you could loosely just make out a figure sat up on a dais uh, who's banging something uh, here's some people talk and you keep hearing just the, the shouts of guilty, definitely guilty. <laughs> Feed them to the pigs, they're guilty, guilty, guilty. This does not seem like a very fair trial and this does not seem like a very <clears throat> legit court at the moment. Is there like an animal trough like that where the pigs used to like feed, like drink water and stuff? Is there any sort of like trowel or water or anything in here? Sure, yeah, yeah, that exists. I'm just cleaning all the shit off me with that water. I'm ruining it for everyone else. Okay. I'm just going to be like, whoosh, like cleaning all my clothes in it and like making it full of streaky poo. The This trough is now full of streaky poo. Nice. Um, I'm clean. Yeah, it is real, real as dirty. clean as I can get. But yeah, you're significantly cleaner then you oh, once were. Oh, great. I look around to everyone that's in a cell with me. I don't know if it's just these guys or if there's others with us. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, you guys and, sure, Stinker. I pull out my Stinkers little, with you too. little coin pouch. 60 silver says the next case is guilty. No, I don't think friendly I'm gonna, wager. I don't want to really take that bet, I don't think. No, no, I'm pretty Come sure that now. it will be guilty. 
I'm still owed 197 silver <laughs> off of this guy I here. I don't remember that, but I mean, I, I, I've got a few silver I can give you. I can give you 80, I suppose. Uh, I'll take that, and then you can give me the rest another time. Come on, come All right, on. All right, well, well, let's go. Let's do it once we get out of jail, because you can't really spend it here anyway. As Speaking you, of... Oh. As you say that, uh, the doors flap open, uh, someone's kind of coming and going, and you just hear this constant banging and... Guilty! 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 Feed them to the pigs! We need to get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what are we going to do? Are we get we could try and escape? Do we try and fight our way out? Why is this duck still here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's part of the group now. Jingly John, carry the duck. <laughs> Hello, everybody, it's me, Jingly John. <laughs> Now I'm going to sing my duck carrying song. <laughs> uh, and he carries the duck and okay. begins to dance around and caper and jingle. He capers the. He's wearing the duck on his head. Nice. Oh, nice. perfect! Yeah, it's well. it's a great it's a great scene, and everyone hates it. <laughs> No, no, seriously, we need to, uh, Bungie Bungie and, and Carnal, Bungus we need to get, Bungus. what's your name, Bungus? Bungus Bungus, I'll Bungus, thank you very My much. apologies, Bungus. Bungie, Bungie. Well, we need to get the fuck out of here. Um, okay, well, we're in a cell, which mm-hmm. will have a lot of rats. I'm wondering if I can speak to those rats and try and find if there's any kind of uh, escape route, any false uh, bar to remove. Can they maybe, steal a key? Can maybe? they steal a key? Do they have any knowledge that could help us? Uh, okay, yeah, you can summon D4 rats is your ability. Oh, uh, yeah, good. The little pyramid. <laughs> little, little pyramid. Uh, okay. How many rats do you summon? Uh, one! Great, I am not having a good time today. <laughs> there is just one rat uh, that kind of scampers along. Wow, oh, shit. Uh, hi there, sir. What's your name? Oh, hello. It's great to speak to you. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, you oh, nice gentleman. Now, can you tell me, do you know a way for us to get out of this cell? Oh, yes. You just crawl under the bars. Look. As he runs kind of in. <laughs> in it's super easy. Squeak. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not going to work for me, honey. Do you? Um, no, you just just squeeze through. Uh, look. Oh, but I'm. As he li- just keeps going in and out of the bars. <laughs> Do you know where there might be a key or something to open this door? What's a key? Uh, oh, okay. It's uh. You- Oh, my dear, how do you describe what a key is to a rat? <laughs> I don't understand. It's a bit of metal. A bit of metal? Oh, I know about metal. Okay, okay. Can you bring me something that looks like a bit of metal? Uh, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I've got a great feeling about okay. this. Great, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> scampers, scampers away. Can't you turn into a rat as well? Is that a thing? I, I, I can. I can Ooh. turn into a rat, but... Then I'm just fucking off and leaving everyone on their own. I'm trying to save our, save us all. Uh, you notice kind of uh, one of the the last groups of people are being drawn into the uh, the courtroom, and you hear this banging and guilty. How many guards are in this room with us watching? Oh, us? a real problematic amount. <laughs> <laughs> Enough that it would be a bad idea. A real, you know, a real dangerous fight amount. If only we had someone here that could craft bombs to blow up the room. Mm. That would be so helpful right rest, about rest now. Rest in peace, Crunky. <laughs> Crunky. Um. You're with Mama now. <laughs> Rippers. Right, well, look, if, worst case scenario, if we can't break out, I mean, we could maybe if, if your rat friend brings the key or something, we can try and break out. If not, we might have to try and fight our way out of here. Because otherwise they're going to feed us to the bloody pigs. Uh. What we- what uh, what weapons Could you, do you can, have? Well, I've I've, I've got a weapon, all right, but I'm trying mm. to keep it. I don't like to draw it. It's, uh, so I, I feel like um, you guys have probably been disarmed uh, oh, yes. at the moment. Okay, yes. There's a trunk of your stuff. Uh, Is that, all our equipment gone as well? Yeah, you okay, don't have everything's um, gone. Uh, everything was uh, just something that would look useful because I have like a brooch pin. Oh yeah, yeah, you can keep that. Like, I, mean, I if could you're wearing that. All right, yeah, I think you would be wearing it. I can. I don't know how bungus. Have you ever picked a lock before? Oh, Are you good at picking locks? Well, I think I am, actually. Growing up with uh, <laughs> Crunky, 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 uh, we get up to all kinds of shenanigans. So that you have people. been spectacularly unlucky so far. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll have a go first. If I'm rubbish, then you can try. Okay, that sounds <laughs> probably for the best. Would you, uh, you see the rat coming back and it's, it's pulling something. Uh, roll me a oh, dice God. to see if oh, it got the key. Come on, Lydia. I feel like I'm going to need... Come on. An 18 to... Oh, for man, this. If you, if you, she rolls a 20 right now. Come on, Lydia. Oh! 
That's um, cocked. That's cocked. It's, it's, cocked. it's okay. Right. okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. <sighs> what is there a modifier? It's a, it's a 17, but it's oh, not have you got a plus? Have you got a plus? You've got omen. You have an omen. What did it, was it agility? What did you want? It's just a, just it's a roll. A, just a roll. But oh. you could spend an omen, maybe. But, Three roll. But you what, could. what did you need from my roll? Over 18? I want an 18 for this <sighs> almost <sighs> impossible task. Lower that one's you set this test threat. DR by oh, minus four. four. Does that apply for this? That's, what I was uh, that's something I need before. Oh. 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 All right. Never I think mind. it's too risky. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, wait, or should I just use it? I don't no, know. No, 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 you do, yeah, save it, save it, save it, save it. Squeak, squeak, We'll squeak. figure out. All right, oh, Look, okay. is, this, is this what you need? Um, and the rat has brought you back a key, <gasps> but just obviously it doesn't fit this lock. It's just a different type of key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, I brought my... I, <sighs> Thank I hope you. this is what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you for trying. Uh, do you, you see any other things that look just like this thing? Or was this the only one you could find? It's the only one I could could find. I don't still don't really understand what the key is for. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm holding on to this just in case we need it later on. It might be um, useful. Yeah, I'm putting it in my pocket. Thank you, sir. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> and it so, runs off through the bars. Mm -hmm. So then Duke <laughs> Belsom is going to... Because he's always been, he's very competent in his eyes. He's just lucky. He's just a, a natural one. I'm going to go up and with my brooch pin, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to try and pick the lock oh. on our cell. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, there's, nice. um, I'm going to need you to be both stealthy and oh, lock picky yeah. sure. as there are kind of guards milling around bringing the last group of people have just been taken out of yeah, so they're like coming this going, place. So. And so there sure, are guards sure. just filtering around. You also hear the shouts of, Gouty! 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 Uh, well, so this is just uh, agility? Uh, yeah, give me an agility roll. All right, I get to roll twice. Oh, well, I get to take the highest. That's a 19. Great. So nice. you can explain how you're stealthily doing this. Yeah, so uh, I think he's like leaning on the bars, like, oh, I'm just casually relaxing. And then he's kind of <laughs> trying to like, oh, wiggling it. Because it is like, there's no skill. He's literally jamming the brooch pin and going, <laughs> trying to like, okay. and that's what he thinks lock picking is. Okay. Um, and then I'll try the lock picking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll need a slightly harder one on that, but, um... Oh, no, no fumble, but that's only a six, so I'm just like... <laughs> You're there fiddling, fiddling with this lock, and it has not drawn the attention of the guards by any means, uh, but one does just start walking towards you, and it's like, all right, all right, lovelies, your turn up in, yeah, in front of the judge. Can I grab him, his face, like, through the bars and say, do I not get a last meal? Uh, do I not get if a... If you want to grab his face, I'm I'm, about I need some kind of attack roll. Okay. As he is not going to <clears throat> be into this. Uh, that's a 14 raw, uh, minus two for strength, so 12. Yeah, yeah, you, um, yeah, you I'm grab not, his I'm head. I'm not, like, aggressively grabbing. I'm just, like, taking it in my hands and say, do I not get some sort of last meal, some last rite? Do I not get to... Speak to a, a cardinal, a bishop, away from this place. Away! Away, foul beast! Are you not a true believer? Uh, well, that's Are you a, a heretic? Deep question. I'm just here to take Guards, I think he might be a heretic. The other guards are just looking a little bit confused, and they just continue opening the lock. Uh, they're all carrying big weapons. You guys are not. And they sort of goad you, goad you down the corridor into... It's kind of like large larger sort of hall-like building. There are stands all around where people would normally be turning up to take part in these auctions for animals. Uh, but now, uh, there are just, it's just filled with common folk who are just drinking, having a great time. It seems to be pretty rowdy in here. Uh, someone's even set up like sort of a, like a sausage selling cart and they're doing an absolute roaring trade. Yeah. Uh, as people <laughs> are just having- fucking boar feeder sausages? <laughs> it's, it's actually, yeah, you can get uh, their new product, boar, Embryo sausages. Just, oh man, delicious. It's just, right. it's just the craze. It's the craze in this city right now. Just real Four gelatinous. Uh, oh. And yeah, you are kind of dragged forward, including um, the duck. Jingly John and the duck. And Jingly John, you're both, both there too. And yeah, in front of you is like a big dais with a, like a grand looking lady. She's kind of has fancy nobles clothes, or at least they would have once been fancy, but she looked like she's been on real hard times. Uh, she has a real mad, mad glint in her eye, 
and is missing one of her hands, and it seems to be being replaced by like a piece of like masonry or something that is lashed to her forearm, and she's using that as an impromptu gavel. Damn. Nice. It's pretty badass. Um. <clears throat> And she's like, You have all been brought here accused of crimes. And you shall be punished. How do you plead? Under whose authority are we being accused? Under mine. Who are you? Source of the swine, they call me. I lead I lead this district now, and we're here to root out heretics and stop people bringing about the apocalypse. What? Sorcerer? I've never heard of you. Are you some sort of... You're not a noble. You have no, no authority. You're not a member of the crown. Uh, no, but I run this area. <laughs> and it is... I've taken it upon myself. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Where have I seen that name before? And I'm going to look on the back of my... rare sought-after item, the mirror and see if her name is on the back of on it. On the back of the mirror? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, roll me a dice. Five. Five. <laughs> Did they not take his mirror, though? Well, it's not a weapon. It's just a mirror, isn't it? Uh, it's what? just a mirror, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a mirror. Can I, can I omen that to re-roll? Uh, yeah, you can. What, what are you hoping for? Are you hoping that it is? I'm really hoping it? that it is her rare mirror, and I, I can somehow... Ooh convince her that I've done her a favor. Okay, great. 18? Plus something? Uh, plus sure, something. yeah, you, you know what? She's like, you, you what? Sasha, is this not to your mirror? I found it wandering the depths. How the bloody hell do you have <laughs> my mirror? Oh, well, it, I guess I have to add theft onto your list of crimes no, that I'll be uh, charging no. you for. I found it. I found it and I plan to return it to you. I've been searching, wondering, looking for you. And I wish to return it now. Well, why have you have a list of other charges that you'll be, be facing along with your theft, foul beast? What charges? What are we being charged with? Intoxication. Well, I, uh, Inciting <laughs> riot. Ah. Um, <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Vandalism. Yes, yes, yes. Brawling without consent. Aiding the escape of prisoners. No, that's a bald-faced lie. Grand arson. Theft. Casting unclean magic. She looks at you. Yes, that's true. Yes. Heresy, blasphemy, and inciting the apocalypse. <laughs> well, even, even so, it, you still have no authority to judge any of us. You're a no one. You're a nobody. Well... I am Sir Duke Belsom the Third of Anthelia. I've never heard of you, but you <laughs> shall face <laughs> my justice. <clears throat> Unless you have anything else to say in your defense. Uh, I uh, Rat Bungus Bungus. Uh, can you go and get can you get out things from that trunk? Deem you uh, uh, uh. You are- I will. I, I'm going to filibuster. <laughs> okay. So Duke Belton okay. starts ranting about the state of nobility and won't allow her to interrupt. He's just like, now see here, back in the by the laws of Anthelia, quoted in 1792. Uh, she raises her hand, and you hear a loud bang um, as the doors to this building slam open, and you see like a large ogre of a man. Uh, stumbling into this place. Is it their lawyer? And he's holding <laughs> someone else. Uh, do you have a lawyer? Because I don't know if you have a lawyer. <laughs> I, no, I, I didn't roll yeah. one, so. Uh, and uh, they kind of like hobble, hobble hurriedly up to uh, Sorsha. And she instantly looks distracted. And all of her attention is kind of pulled to this this duo, this, this big fella and this far smaller, brutally injured looking guy. And... Uh, they, they start like kind of having a conversation. You can sort of just make out little bits, little bits of it. You can overhear Sorsha mm. just being like, "What? What? What happened? No, no grain? A curse? No one else survived? Goblins? Who? Who can we send? What do you mean they're all too scared? A suicide mission? <laughs> okay." Oh, good. okay. Some, out, some outsiders? Who do we... 
What prisoners are left? I'll do it. I will do it. We'll see. We'll, we'll yes. Man, we'll do it. We'll do it. Fine adventurers we are, mm. Bungus Bungus yeah, and but... Cardinal and Duke Belsom the Third, and, that and their loyal duck. <laughs> <laughs> we shall go. <laughs> so, uh, wait. So, on the condition that we are found innocent. We could come to an arrangement. Uh, I have a task that needs doing. A trifling matter. Yes, yes, trifling matter for us. We are and talented and brave people. And ducks. Yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could uh, come to an arrangement. There's sort of some jeers from the crowd. Silence, everybody. Shut up. So you think you could... Play the part in this little uh, little game for me, and we'll all agree that you did no wrong on this day. Yes, that seems reasonable. I think as a companion. Hello, everybody. It's me, Jingly John. Yes, yes. Be quiet for now. Listen John. to me. Sing my jingly, <laughs> jingly song. My freedom song. You can kill him if you want. You can Here in court, him. lies don't belong. So oh. I admit that we all did the wrong. Uh. That's not is, helping. Shut is up, this, is, shut up, John! Is this, is he with you? No, 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 he's not. That's uh, my court jester. <laughs> he's my court jester. Jiggly, what's his name? Jingly, Jingly John, yeah. I hate him. Oh, yes, he's awful. Get he's him awful. out of my sight. Well, gladly. Gladly. Let us go and we'll take him wherever we need to go. Uh, Gorg. Gorg, take them. Gorg. Gorg. Can we have our things back? Yes, I, I will need, uh... Need your names on a contract uh, right here. Uh, this is all legal and above board. I completely uh, come. Duke Belson the third. Duke Belson the third. Uh, she sort of hands out, uh, hands the scroll down to uh, Gorg, who's the big, big-looking fella, and uh, gets you each to put your mark on it. Uh, this is sort of like a crusty, old, full of writing sort of scroll. Yes, just your marks at the bottom, please. Can any of y'all read? <laughs> yes, I can read. What does this say? What it, am I signing? It says, Ah, <laughs> better. I'm, I'm just going to sign it. Bungus, bungus. Mwah. There you go. Kissy mark. I'm going to <laughs> slice Smoke. along my palm and press my bloody handprint into Oh, that's perfect. Yes, you can... Uh, I'll accept a bloody handprint. I guess my shitty... My shit-covered <laughs> just web the most foot. just sprawly thing. Yeah, and then we'll get the... Yeah. I'll hold up the little ink pot and get his little... Oh, little, oh, oh little duck, duck foot. <laughs> okay, very well. Uh, this is a binding contract. If, uh, if my task is not completed within the month, uh, each of your spines will turn to jelly. Uh, she rolls it up and puts it just back into her pocket. Just a standard sort of uh, railroad curse type thing. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Just, very uh, familiar. just to keep you on uh, on track. Uh, well, um, I guess Gorg, go and get their things and get out of my sight. What do we have to do, by the way? The task? Gorg will explain the... Uh, All right. Explain to you. When you're on your way, you've got a little, little way to go. Mm. So yeah, we'll flash, flash forwards a little bit. Uh, sure. You guys are riding in sort of like a big, big kind of wagon. Um, you're leaving the city of Galgenbeck. Um, and Gorg uh, is there kind of uh, at the reins of this, this cart. So you've signed a pack with, uh, with the lady, have you? <laughs> We just came back from this place. It's a bloody death sentence. Bloody death sentence. Just worst place in the world. Oh, well, we were going to die anyway, so at least we've maybe got a chance. Maybe. See, uh, some kind of curse going on in this place. Uh, we're supposed to be getting grain out of here. You might have noticed that we're only eating boar embryos at the moment <laughs> back in Galgenbeck. And, uh, yeah, we've been after the grain. But, yeah, they've stopped producing. The farmlands. It's all gone to shit. What's gone wrong? Well, oh, crop, crops are blackened, and there's goblins everywhere. Mm. And what is it we're expected to do, my good Gorg? Well, um, 
I need to put an end to all of this. That's all what of it. We, all of this. He wants to kill the goblins? You gotta find out where these goblin curses coming from. Alright. How familiar are you with goblins? Oh, well, I think we used to hunt them with Daddy for sport. Used to go out on 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 the old uh, donkeys with the long bows and the crossbows, and you'd hunt the goblin. Okay. Sometimes it was a peasant boy dressed up as a goblin. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I think you uh, know, when you couldn't get a real goblin, you would dress up one of the local orphans. Oh, and send them off chasing, them, and you chase after them. It was all very good fun. That's how my brother died, getting dressed up as a goblin and uh, chased by nobility. <laughs> oh, wonderful way to die! Such a such a such a wonderful game. My uh, uh, my late brother Crunky, he was one quarter goblin. One quarter goblin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was. Yeah, what's the yeah, logistics yeah. of that? <laughs> Wait, so you're saying he had the goblin curse? I think so, probably. Something was not right with that boy. <laughs> he dead now, though. He blew up. It's he fine. blew up. Oh, he blew he's up. the one that blew up in the sewers. Mm -hmm. yeah, he the one that blew up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, God, Basilisk rest his soul. R.I.P. Crunky. Yeah, but it's, uh, crunky. Bless the, bless the Basilisk. <laughs> huh, I spat on the ground. <laughs> All right. You know, this is a nice wagon. Don't, don't treat it like shit. I'm covered yeah, in it. Yeah, Cardinal. Uh, I hope that you were all hosed down or something at least. <laughs> oh, yeah. I probably have. Bask in the filth. <laughs> this Maybe a couple bring of on the end a of few things. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah the du a ducks are far easier to clean. We just put you in a pond for a bit and you have a bit of a splash. Oh, oh like, lovely. Yeah. It wasn't a pond, it was a trough that you <laughs> cleaned yourself. Oh, no, the yeah. shitty yeah. trough. Shitty yeah. trough. Yeah. I think I like the duck more than I like the Cardinal right now. <laughs> He's a good duck. I haven't said a word to you yet. <laughs> and yet, we all just think you're a, re a normal duck. Just a regular old duck. Uh, but yeah, so you are, as you travel travel along with Gorg, mm -hmm. uh, you notice, that, you know, uh, the city begins to fade away and turns into more rural landscape until eventually the sort of, even the woods and trees kind of disappear and you just see like thick, thick cornfields. But all the corn is just blackened and swollen and wilting and just flies everywhere all over the place the just sky is just crawling with them this big thick black cloud and is it's just awful just terrible and you slowly make your way to the town of Loathsholm which is a charming Loathsholm uh, nice. where once, a, once upon a time would have been a kind of quaint nice farming community but now it's just shuttered windows and it's piles a, of burning goblins it's a dark souls level it's a, a picture of a dark souls level if you just have dark souls in your brain this entire time you're probably not a million miles away yeah. on visions nice <laughs> and uh yeah this place is not looking super super nice oh. so for you to uh complete that contract you gotta find out whatever's causing this and uh, put an end to these goblins All right. Uh, and uh, just in case you're not super familiar with the goblins uh, you know watch out if one tries to get you cause uh, you're gonna have a real bad time <laughs> and uh, he <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I just thought we'd laugh along. Uh, uh, Wait, did and... the duck just laugh? Quack, 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 quack. And he just turns his cart around and you just hear him laughing off into the distance. We <laughs> dropped off at the start of the level. Yeah, the start <laughs> of the level. There's the big sort of big sign saying Lowe's home. Um, and. Yeah. Home anymore. yeah, this town maybe would have a few hundred people living in this sort of central area and then buildings kind of, you can see them disappearing off into these big, tall, thick cornfields, but that does not look like good, good corn eating. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you can see a couple of people milling around. Um, a few. Oh, so there are people here. There are people here. Uh, people do still live here. And you can see a couple with rags over their face who are pitchforking piles of goblin bodies onto this fire. Uh, because famously everyone, you all know, goblins don't rot. Uh, yeah, their flesh yeah. just exists forever. Right. And so they're having to, having to burn them because they've got a big goblin infestation at the moment. <laughs> Look what? how they purify them in the flames. 
All right, creepy cardinal. Yep, very good. <laughs> um, all right, we need to we need to figure out where these fucking goblins are coming from. So do we go? And, we, should, we should go and speak to the locals. Maybe get it get stuck in. I'd wager to bet they're in the cornfield. A hundred silver. Well, you've got all of my silver now. Oh, uh, yeah. I will. Yeah, I'll take the eighty uh, right yeah, now, please. Right. Thank yeah, you so apparently much. Apparently, I owe you one hundred ninety. Yeah, so thank you. I got eighty silver. One hundred silver says that. The problem lies within the cornfield. Absolutely not. I am not betting away. I already lost this before. I'm not doing it again. I look at the duck. I lay an egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds like that. Duck has accepted your bet for one egg. <laughs> the deal is on. Is anyone going to collect the egg? I'll pick it up for now. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that you're on Jingly John's head if you do anything. Jingly, Jingly John. Tell him everybody, it's me, Jingly John. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this. Let show. me sing our questing song. <laughs> <Not> me. <laughs> yes. Winner takes all. And I'll put 100 gold in Jingly John's uh, gold. Silver, silver in Jingly John's hand and the egg. Hold on to safe, those for their best. Keep. Jingly John. I'll sing my holding song. <laughs> Uh, as he holds an egg in one hand and a hundred silver in the other yeah. and capers around. <laughs> just jingling up a storm. All right. Uh, so yeah, you are at the end of this kind of main thoroughfare. A lot of the, the bulk of the town is on this one sort of main main road leading to a little, little bit of a square. And then the rest kind of just disappears off into the cornfields. But these, these sort of eaves of corn are, you know, a good seven, eight, nine feet tall in parts. But not healthy looking. Mm. Right. Should we uh, see if there's an inn or something nearby? Go talk to the locals. It's a good place, yes. I think you're right. You lead the way, Bungus Bungus. Oh, follow me, follow me. Uh, yeah, so you walk walk down the street and most of the houses are sort of either shuttered up or boarded up. Uh, you get a few suspicious glances from people looking at outsiders. Uh, not, not super familiar. Um, and yeah, you kind of make it along and you find a building that looks like it's working as as like an inn at this place. Mm. Uh, it's called the Second Lamb Inn uh, and it looks like it once was a big barn and uh, now is got people inside. You can hear the sound of like drinking and some laughter and... What's on the menu? Is it lamb embryos? That's absolutely disgusting. Well, when you go in and find out then you can know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, do you want to head on head on in? Sounds Absolutely. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you are instantly startled by the roaring bark of a, a big dog. Uh, who, exactly, that's what he sounds like. And yeah, this dog just is barking at everyone who's coming into this building. Um, it, this building is rife with smoke. Everyone in here seems to be smoking some kind of pipe weed or tobacco which seems like an absolute nightmare of a fire hazard on the mm. sort of straw-covered floor. Uh, all of the tables and benches are made out of just sort of barrels or boxes with planks put across them, and that's the same with the bar. Uh, and the patrons here sort of turn and look at you. Uh, oh, yes. Wait, I need a different different sort of voice. I can't just keep doing that. <laughs> I don't have a lot of voices, okay? That's right. You don't have to have voices. That's fair. Dude. Australian works in a bar. Australian. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if uh, it works in this in this bar. That's not really a good. That Australian. was good. What about your like girly voice? Hello. I can't like my. I don't have a lot of. This Range? is the closest I could do to a girly oh, voice. That's great. Brilliant. That's There's great. A matron behind the bar. I'm a matron. <laughs> yeah. It sounds a little posh. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Like, sure. The bar owner who uh, is very matronly. Uh. Big bosoms. Big. Big old, big old heaving, bibbies. Heaving mm. bosoms. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, yes, hello, it's me. Welcome to the Second Lamb Inn. Uh, I must ask that you turn in any food you have and add it to the pile over here. Uh, excuse We're me? We're starving. Oh, yes, because of all the corn and the grain. The corn problems. Oh, yes. Uh, we, I, I, all food is shared oh, right. currently. We, we, we must share, otherwise I'm afraid we will have to take it from you by force. Uh, oh, that's something right. Well, we actually, we're really just, we weren't really here to eat. We're here to get some information. Oh, you're not after what 
It's on the special menu. Well, I mean, we'll have a look, but I don't... We it's nothing. I just said we have no oh, right. food yeah. here at all. Yeah. No, if anything, it's whatever you have brought with you is what we're going to be eating. Soup of the day is hot water. Hot water. Mm. Yes, oh, mm. delicious Yummy. hot water with a, a few stones put in it for mm. texture. Oh. I pick up Carl and the duck. I lay an egg. How many <laughs> eggs can a duck lay a day? Ooh, know. roll a d4. Sure, what a treat. What a treat. One. One. Oh, yeah, that yeah, probably sounds... I'm all right. done. I'm all dried up. <laughs> You're all dried up. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Carmel? I, I turn to the matron. You can't be giving them Colin. Hello. Uh, the duck? For me? No, 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 no. That's one of our companions. This is a loyal, trusted companion. Hello, my name's Colin. He can oh, talk. It's a magic talking duck. Crunky wasn't mad. <gasps> Crunky, oh, Crunky, he was right. You can tell. You did. Why haven't you said anything so far? Didn't really see the point. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, your name's Colin. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> nice. That's if that's what you want to address me as. I can be Colin. All right. Have, I thought this. I thought this duck was part of your party. It is. Have you not met? Have you not been introduced before? That seems very weird. Also, a talking duck is very weird. <laughs> but these are weird times. They are strange times. Yes. I do have to warn you. I don't taste very good. Oh, you're very skinny as well. I'm very skinny. And you have yes. poor burnt little feet, you darling. Have these people been mistreating you? Well. The person that mistreated me is... There was an incident and he's no more, so... Well, that that sounds great. Did he get attacked by goblins? That's what happens to most people around here. Well, it's funny you should mention that. That's what we're sort of here to try and help with, I suppose. Where... Do, what can you tell us about these goblins and what's been happening here? We're sort of looking for information. Oh, goblins are terrible. Well, if it's... The last, last couple of months, we've had goblins uh, showing up out of nowhere. I don't know why the curse has started to spread here. Uh, they just appeared. Do they come from the cornfields? They caper around in the cornfields. You'll find them in the cornfields. Uh, you'll find them in your cupboards. They'll be in alleyways and uh, in the attic. Uh, they're everywhere. And you have to track them down and kill them straight away. When you said that the curse started recently, but the goblins have been around for months, or the other way around? The curse started, and then, and then the goblins appeared. Oh. Kind of about the same sort of time. I think a smart person oh. might say that kind of. I see what you're saying now. <laughs> I get what you're. I get what you're leveraging, Auntie. I mean, Matron. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind well, that. Please ignore what I just said. Ignore it. Uh, anyway, um, so where do you know where the goblins come from? Is it everywhere, or do they, they seem just, to come from a certain place? Wait, it doesn't sound like you're super familiar with a goblin. Oh. Um, well, when if you're attacked by a goblin, then you you get the curse, and then you become a goblin. Oh, oh I see. Do they infest your mind? Well, yes, the, the mind goblins. You, you'll go mad, and you'll become a <laughs> you'll become a goblin, and so I guess goblin mind. Uh, yeah, like Mind a- goblin these nuts. <laughs> goblin. How long have you been sitting on what there, nuts? Abs? What nuts have you got? These nuts. You have food. Give them your nuts. Nuts. Put them in the pile. Look, I, we have to share all out, of our food. I pull out my uh, four days of rations. All nuts. All nuts. <laughs> just, just nuts. <laughs> just Thank you. Slightly nuts. shit stained nuts. Oh. Thank you, High Priest. Thank you. Puts it in the pile and you know starts kind of dividing it up into portions, making a. Hearties. Receive this Nuts sacrament. Mm. Nut stew. Nut stew. Nummy. Uh, does this uh, little town here have like a cave or uh, underground or anything like that you can think of? Well, I don't, uh, I don't know about caves or the underground. We're a farming community. We have rolling fields and, you know, farmsteads. Um. Uh, quaint shops. Well, they were once quaint, now... Was when, when the evening. curse began, were any of specific, what what farms did it begin in? Did it spread from a certain farm or from a certain area? No, just the blight all happened. We had a just great a, storm and then all of a sudden mm. just darkness fell upon us and uh, then goblins. They started 
just a few at a time. But then, as goblins are wont to do, mm. they kind of multiply in vast numbers, so we have to hunt them down mm. and kill them all. Uh, do you have any shops in this town that you sell goods, weapons, potions and lotions and such? <laughs> Why, yes, we do. There's a little market just down the... Uh, just down the hill. Oh, great, great, thank owned, you. Owned by the Brothers Bruder. Brothers Bruder, you say? Fantastic, thank you. Uh, they they have a, a store and uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a few other other things. If there's any shop in particular that you want to go and visit, I'm sure we have it here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go do some shopping. Mm. Go stock up before we find. Well, you have all of my money, Bungus. It's so true. I maybe I should go do yes, some shopping. I can't do a fucking thing anymore. <laughs> but it's, I'm sure I can just demand what I want from some peasant. Um, anyway, uh, yes. Well, we, maybe they might have more information mm. about where mm. these fucking goblins are. <laughs> Oh, calm down, Duke. <laughs> I hate goblins. I hate them. Taught and in, bred it into me by my father when we used to hunt the orphan boy dressed as one. <laughs> just, just, God, the boy. sight of a goblin just makes me just makes my blood boil. What do they look like? What do goblins look like? Are they like tiny things? Well, as you are walking down the road, oh, uh, yes. you can you see one up ahead, uh, sort of like in a like down in an alleyway, um, and oh man, it's just poking at a, a three-legged dog with a, a pointy stick and just being awful. Um, they're big, like, hunch-backed, crooked creatures. Like, they were once a person, but now, when the curse has spread through them, their bodies kind of shrivel and their spines kind of fish hook, and uh, their noses grow big and long and they get pointy ears. So they're a bit big goblin-y, but they were a, a people. And uh, they're people size. Have they got green skin or anything? Yeah, their skin can be all kinds of different colours, but rotting, mottled, rubbery, rubbery mm. flesh. And yeah, you see this this goblin. Proper like uh, uh, little doggos. Mm. <laughs> 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 they don't need those. That kind of goblin. Mm. Yeah, and the dog. The dog is there. <laughs> as the, the goblin oh, is no. poking it with a stick. Fucking goblin. Can we save the dog and yeah, it joins I mean, our group? I, I'm going to start moving towards the goblin and the duke is going to have his hand going towards a very ornate scabbard at his side because mm. I, when I see that goblin, it's like the blood, the, the eyes have gone red. I just oh, want to wow. kill that goblin. Poke, poke the dog, poke its eyes. I'm going to poke its eyes out. Wretched goblin filth. You shall taste steel this day. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, like the right, goblin has got his back to you, and oh, yeah. so uh, <laughs> oh, the goblin didn't hear, like, because <laughs> <laughs> I broke it. Ah! Uh, sure, well, you know what? The goblin can roll a presence test. Uh, he fails, he fails his presence <laughs> he's test. He's too, too busy poking he's this dog. Too, he's really oh, enthralled, um, giggling. <laughs> I'm a goblin, <laughs> I'm gonna poke this dog. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the blade of my ancestors for the first time. A okay. Oh, it's so good to be drawn all of a sudden. Shut up, you! There's a goblin to kill. Oh, you're still here. Oh. <laughs> Fucking sword! I Hello. hate it. Oh, are you <laughs> are you traveling with this this little boy here? I'm not a boy. I'm a man. Oh. He's always belittling me with this sword. I hate it. I hate this sword. Oh, I, I still agree with your father. You should have been left as a cum stain on his bed sheet. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, you pathetic idiot. Oh, uh, oh, no, shut up. The I, sword I, is talking. Uh, you can. This voice is just emanating. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, pathetic as always. <laughs> Oh, stabbing a goblin in the back too scared to fight it, fight it fairly. I'll fight it fairly. It just didn't hear me. Pathetic little wretch. Yes, go for your easy kill. You could never kill goblins on the goblin hunt, could you? Let's have daddy to come and help you. <laughs> can I make my attack roll now? You can. Make your attack roll. Yeah, and I get to do this uh, with the blade, which is DR10. Uh, that's going to be a success. Uh, so 19. 19, great. Roll me... Uh, Le damage. Roll me some damage, please. Oh, my bone dice. Oh, seven. Seven damage. 
this goblin is dead. You can describe what happens. I mean, I do exactly what the sword said. It's like, I creep up and then I stab him in the back because I'm, I'm too much of a coward to fight it properly. So um. I'm like, <laughs> 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 please die, die. <sighs> I did it! <laughs> you, yeah, you, you stab that goblin to death in the back. I told you, Daddy. I told you I could kill them by myself. It lets out a squee in, in agony as uh, as it dies. Uh-huh. Uh, and from a like an abandoned cupboard uh, next to you, the doors burst open, and this squat little goblin bursts out with a knife. <laughs> from the rooftop above, there's a goblin up there with some kind of little bow that peeks down. It was a trap. And uh, yeah, two two other goblins kind of emerge in this alleyway. Uh, you are fairly surrounded. You guys are sort of at the end. Um, the one, uh, the one bursting from the cupboard, he's real stocky. The one up on the roof, he's got a big scabby eye and his bow and arrow. I pee myself. You pee. Mm-hmm. Do a little pee. And There's a little pee. Comes a little out. bit of pee, okay. A little pee. Ah, oh, it seems like you've got yourself into quite the predicament now. Shut up, Equinox. Mm, I can't wait for you to die so someone more worthy can wield me. Worry not, Balsam. I have just the thing. And I'm going to pull out this like cursed scroll that looks like it's like written on human flesh. And I'm gonna okay. on the goblin on the rooftop if I can reach him with this spell. Sure. I'm gonna cast Demon of Capillaries. A demon of Capillaries. Okay, roll me a dice and then explain what it's gonna do. Okay. You also get to determine how many times you can use it. Uh, is this based on my presence? Uh, yeah. Uh, so seventeen. Seventeen. You cast your Demon of Capillaries on this goblin on the so. rooftop. Blood one. starts pouring out of my eyes and like tendrils burst out of my Ooh. veins and go up to wait, the goblin. Wait, wait, you said eyes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh eye. Yeah. Well, the eye <laughs> hole. Eye oh, oh. Like just fucking blood starts seeping out of there. Like my veins like almost explode and like tendrils of blood wrap around this thing's throat, suffocating it. Wow. For five turns doing d4 damage Ooh. per turn. Okay, well, roll me a d4 and see how much damage this scabby eyed goblin is taking. Two. Okay. Uh, blood veins are choking this goblin on the roof with its bow and arrow. Um, it's not looking super super pleased about that, but it turns it's a goblin, so, you know, they don't look super pleased for the, the most of the time. I'll rip the secrets from its flesh. Uh, there's still a this sort of stocky goblin uh, barreling onto you and two other goblins uh, that are looking at you. There's one who's wearing a saucepan for a hat. He's kind of like flicking a knife by like in like just a real bad dude kind of way, kind of tossing it up and down. He's like flicking his fingers. (laughs) (laughs) He's got like a a slick backed haircut and a leather jacket. He's Uh, like, hey, what are you looking at, boss? I got you, I got Uh, you. And yeah, another goblin with him who's coming towards towards you guys who seems to be wearing very fancy noble lady shoes. Ooh. It's like high heels. Yeah, he's got like a little pair of high heels it's, it's on. It's like Bart wearing the heels. Nice. Yeah, it's like shuffling, <laughs> shuffling along and it has sort of just some serrated piece of farm, farm So there's machinery. four in total. So we had the big one that's on me, the one on yeah. the roof, and then two more. Yeah, yeah. Nice, okay. You've got four hmm. gobos to deal with. Uh, what do you want to... I'm going to take out my hand axe and uh, slice one of them in the brains. Just charge at this goblin <laughs> and slice it in the brain. I'm Great. Gonna, yeah. Why not? Give it a go. Cool. Roll me roll me a dice. You're rolling with your strength uh, bonus to do a combat uh, attack. Oh, Lord in heaven. Uh, I got an eight. <laughs> uh, you swing at this goblin and um, it just glances completely off of its source point hand. Why did you aim for the fucking head? I'm not, oh, I've You've done got, a metal helmet. I'm just not so just, lucky today, Colin. I can't describe it. I'm just really fucking everything up. <laughs> and Colin the duck, uh, do you want to take part in this or are you just going to be laying eggs? Well, I can't lay another egg today, unfortunately. <laughs> Use your beak. Use your evil beak. <laughs> We've seen how much damage that <laughs> do beak I want did. You, though? you don't right. have to. Because what have these guys done for me? It's true. It's This is all on you, baby. If you want to abandon them, maybe I'll just say, say, look, if you want my help, I'm I'm gonna want some bread. <laughs> I, I got I got one day's worth of food. I can I got some bread. I'll give you. some If bread. you can give me some bread, yeah, 
I will, I'll assist you, okay? Okay. 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 Right, right, I feel I just, like this transaction is sort of happening. As you were distracted talking, uh, <laughs> like talking- you swing, you're like, I'll give you bread, uh, bread. You stop and start negotiating with the duck. Uh, yeah, these two goblins are just gonna absolutely lay upon you with their sharp tools. They don't seem to go for the duck. They seem more kind of threatened by you, mm -hmm. especially after you just <clears> hit Saucepan Head um, right in, mm -hmm. right in his helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you are attacked, unroll any dice, you just have to roll a dodge roll. And that's gonna be, based on your agility. With the so, normal dice? Uh, D20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh. I got eight again. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, just take this. Just, <laughs> is this lucky? Try that one instead. Is this a lucky well, one? I don't know, but it's your other one is garbage. Oh, that's a one. I just rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take that one back. Uh, well, both goblins attacked you, so <laughs> I can take a take that one. No, 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 no. That, oh. was that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a test roll. I get to do this one. So it was go a again? different dice. It was a different dice. Okay, so the Maybe first. Maybe if I do it on the fabric, it will be better. Eleven. Do you have an agility bonus? Uh, plus one, twelve. Nice. Okay. Well, the first goblin uh, swings at you, completely misses. You manage to dodge out of the way, but annoyingly you dodge straight into the blade of the other goblin mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. who is going to stab you for ooh, d4 damage. Um, Four. No. Which is three damage. Ouchies. Oh, oh my god. Liz, you have armor. I do. If you want to Minus roll, two. roll a d2 and you can reduce the damage by that amount. Uh -huh. Two. Great. So I only had one damage, right? So you only take one damage from nice. that. As he just, just kind of nicks you with his dirty Etch. sword. My leg. But at this moment, you you just get this tiny little burst of goblin, goblin laughter in the back of your head. Mm. You are now suffering from the goblin curse. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna turn into a goblin! You turn into a goblin, I'm gonna kill you. Oh fuck! The, uh, <laughs> the stocky goblin who just burst out of a cupboard, uh, he's mm. kind of wielding mm. like a larger ladle as, okay. as some kind of club, and he'll be swinging at uh, over at you, Duke Belson. Alright, well I'm defending myself with, with the Blade of the Ancestors so it can mock me some more. Uh, oh, oh no! One of them was a one. One of them was a one. Yeah, so my luck, this is where my luck is bad because I have double chance for a fumble. So that was a fumble. That was oh, one. You've, when you're you're fine, surprising a little goblin. <laughs> I'm trying to defend. <laughs> Neutralize. I don't get them. I don't, don't get, get them. any no, omens. Because I have this lucky uh, feet. I don't get omens. Well, it ain't so twice. lucky it's now. No, is this is the downside of it. Mm, how unfortunate. <laughs> uh, how much damage does the sword do? Uh, D6 plus one. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Oh man, I feel like because also that was I failed to defend myself. So does the goblin hit me as well, uh, or is this replacing that? I, I think both are going to be. Oh happening. good, Mark. Fine. I think you're going to be the sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a feeling I know what I'm going to be after this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm no, about to be a goblin, no. my sweet boy. Uh, yeah, you can. The sword is going to uh, going to be doing damage to you yep. instead. That's yep. a uh, you can roll. Uh, oh, I, oh, brilliant. I can roll. Well, you swung it. Uh, oh, brilliant. So that's four points of damage. Four I points of damage. I do have armor, so I'm going to reduce it by D2. Uh, by two. So I take two. Okay, great. Not so bad. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, um, so that's the, the my own sword like okay. attacking me. And the ladle goblin, uh, mm -hmm. he'll swing uh, for four damage. I'll let you roll that as well. I kind of need to roll. Oh, damage. for D4 damage? Yeah, from the ladle. Uh, okay, that's two. And then do I get my armor off that as well? Uh, so your armor is going to be, because you got a, f a critical fail, a uh, fumble, um, your armor is actually going to be destroyed from this. Oh, right. So no. I wouldn't have reduced that previous one then. I'm, no, I'm fine for, oh, right, thematically, okay. I feel like you swing the sword at, uh, right, okay. around trying to parry, but you just end up the sword kind of twists in your hand, right. slicing a deep gouge into uh And then this goblin you. like clunks me and wrecks my armor, basically. Yeah, the goblin. The goblin whacks you with a ladle and your clothes fall off. <laughs> <laughs> goblin, this is a magic ladle. Yeah. A magic Sorry. ladle of stripping. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Well, that is, uh, well, that's two and then another two for four, which is my max, so I'm at zero. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God, Duke Belsom. <laughs> so I'm either dead or something horrible is about to happen. Oh, great. Dead. Okay, roll me a d4. Oh, brilliant. 
a d4, you say. Uh, that is a one. Great. Uh, you collapse to the ground as this goblin whacks you on the head. You've been knocked out for <coughs> d4 rounds. Okay. Uh, you collapse to the ground. The sword clatters out of your hand. Oh, I always knew you were pathetic. Pathetic little boy! <laughs> I'm so glad I can't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not as fun when, when he can't hear the torment. Uh, and there's going to be an archer goblin. He's going to fire into you. So roll me, roll me a dice. Roll me a, what one? a d20, d20 with your agility. A nine. A uh, nine. I'm going to Orman re-roll that. Okay, yeah. An eight. <laughs> Ooh, even better. Roll me a d4. A four. Uh, that's great. Uh, you took four damage. Uh, I have armor. Reduce it by one. Okay, so you take three damage. I'm on one. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, anyone who did receive an attack from a goblin, just there's this like faint background. Imagine something a bit like, you know, you've got like uh, some, some tinnitus, some ring in your ears, but this is goblin laughter. Oh, we're all into Another voice joins the free. <laughs> it's like you're on a train and the guy next to you is listening to an annoying podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You just hear the like, mumblings of it. Great. Um, it's top the, of the round again. Does, uh, the, I guess he just takes choking damage again. Yeah, hit me with another d4. Yeah, you got five rounds of it. So. Free. Oh, he is really having a bad time. Beginning to turn blue. Tongue is <sighs> lolling and lips are swelling up. Can I have this happen to several creatures? Yeah, keep casting, baby. Let's go. I'm going to do it again so that I'm choking two of them. There is a stocky goblin uh, who is just leering over Duke Belsum uh, with this big ladle. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, that is a 18. Eight, great. Roll me that D4 and let's see how much this oh. goblin chokes. Let's see for how long he does. Another five, five rounds. Nice. Oof. Free. Great. Okay, that goblin instantly starts choking, clutching at its neck, uh, still wielding this cudgel. But uh, like a very cursed Spider-Man, just my veins are strangling them. Oh god. Oh. Okay. So yeah. are they still connected yeah. to you? And yeah. Left your it's like beautiful. Venom. Yeah. I am just down on my knees, like laughing and weeping. Okay. Jesus. That's <laughs> great. As these goblins choke, you do have an arrow kind of plunked into you. Uh, disgusting. Um, is Rav's turning? Because he had an arrow, not a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a bite or anything. Mm. Okay. Another uh, two so boys joins the free. But you're written... not, though, right? Hmm? You're not, because you had an arrow attack. No, oh. no, you still... You still are. Uh, any attack from a goblin, it oh. seems to me. Because I got whacked by the ladle and it's still uh. effective. I can even read the description. Okay, I'm with you. Uh, remember, anyone attacked by a goblin uh, irrevocably turn, transforms into one. Um, Do you think they like have their weapons and they're like any attack is sufficient? It doesn't even need to be successful. What? What? Goblins suck. That's what? fucking bullshit. <laughs> if it doesn't even hit you, you still get poisoned. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> the only way to um, get rid of the curse is to slay the goblin that attacked you. Oh. To fuck. <laughs> I'm unconscious. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're choking another goblin. The first one, arrow goblin with scabby eyes looking real sad. Uh, over to you. What um, are you guys oh. wanting to do on your side of the table? Okay, I'm uh, I'm turning towards the goblin that gone fuck me up. There's two goblins. Will you help me, Mr. Chicken Man? I'm a duck. Just, Don't uh, hit it in the head <laughs> this time. <laughs> For God's sake! Can you keep the other one busy while I try to kill the one that gone and poisoned me? So I don't want to be, um, you know, too uh, goblin-based pedantic, but both of these goblins have attacked you. To both have actually got their curse on you, if, so both of them need to die for the, you to be able to lift this goblin from curse. From her hand, or yeah, or they can the chicken be, do it? Oh, dead. that's okay. As long then. as that goblin is dead. Your curse is lifted. Cool. Okay. All right, then. I just got to take out these two boys, and okay. then I'll be feeling a lot better. Uh, will you help me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use... Um, I guess I'm just going to hit him again with my hand axe, but this time not the the, 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 the brains. That's what I went for last time. 
Uh, right, I guess I'll just roll it. Yeah, roll, mm-hmm. roll some dice. Uh, oh, fuck off, you piece of shit. I got a five. <laughs> Uh, the goblin is just laughing away. <laughs> They're laughing together, shoving each other as they oh, stab at you with their uh, with their sharpened sharpened things. And uh, Colin, Colin the duck, would you like to take part Let's in see this? See how often I can even do this. Three, okay. Wait, it's my home. That's fine. That's good, actually. Um, okay. Um, my eyes turn red. I start chanting. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Quack. And I summon demon ducks. <gasps> demon ducks. Demon, demon ducks. ducks. Demon ducks. Three demon uh, ducks. I, so I'm going to need you to cast the spell. Oh, first I got a roll all. for casting. Yeah. yeah. Plus presence. Spell casting. D E M O N D U C K S. There we are. A little bit of roleplay helps. 15. 15. Perfect. Plus zero. But Great. Also yeah, Simon, you, perfect nightmare reference. You Thanks. successfully cast your... Three, I guess. That, demon ducks. Still... Three demon ducks up yeah. here. Describe to me what this looks like. Um. Okay. So they are... They just look like normal ducks, but they got like bright red horns and like um, okay. one of those... The tail is oh, one of those pointy things. The on little, the end. like a little black mm. yeah. string tail with a little arrow on the it's end. It's like um, a Halloween costume that costs like seven quid. Right. <laughs> sexy <laughs> demon ducks. Okay. Nice. And it's just nice. like. So, uh, would you clarify these as sexy demon ducks? Sure. <laughs> they I guess to you, titties. they could be. Because yeah. you are a duck. Big yeah. duck yeah. tits. Yeah. Okay, They're okay. like demon duck succubi or something. Ooh. Okay, right. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not even sure how much they attack for. Um, all I know is that if there's more of these demon ducks than enemies, they'll attack my friends. And I don't know how long they're around for either. Oh, dear. So that's the downside. And there are three of them. But there are three bad goblins. There's four, there's four bad, bad, bad goblins. goblins. So that's fine. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, uh, you know, give me a rough direction on where these demon ducks are going. And then... The ones around Lydia. Okay. Cool. Should we say two on sorry, one of those? Sorry, I mean the ones around Bungus. Bungus. <laughs> Bungus, Bungus. Okay, great. Uh, roll me some uh, demon duck attacks. Uh, give me a, just a standard, give me a roll for just how effective all the demon ducks are. Okay. And then we'll a just sort of spread that. Uh, seven. seven. They're you just causing re-roll. a whole, whole world you of mischief. You could use to re-roll that. Oh, would you like to I've use got lots of You do have six. Actually, yeah. To hell with it. Sure. To hell with it. Can I just keep re-rolling this over and over? And does it work? 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, sure. The two onto the first goblin. Um, yeah, they are uh, the saucepan, mm. saucepan mm. hat and noble lady shoes. They're, that's how <laughs> I'm remembering them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are pecking up a storm. Uh, they can do... 2d2 damage the saucepan hat and then 1d2 damage the other other goblin. 2d2. Sure. They are ducks. They are yeah, ducks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a pecky beak. So that's odds. So that's one and two. Okay, three. even. So three damage, but also it pecks out one of that goblin's eyes. Oh, yeah. Goblin having... Sure. Mm. On a two, peck out eye. Yeah. Okay, that goblin is real unhappy. Um, uh, and just d2 damage on the other one. The other okay. goblin on fancy, fancy lady One. shoes. Great. Okay, all these goblins are getting real, real Fucked attacked, up. real, real beaten. Uh, so I think the goblins are going to be swinging now. One of them will try and just fight the ducks. It is ethereally fighting demon ducks, completely distracted. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other is going to be taking another stab at you, Bungus Bungus. Bungus Bungus. Uh, hit me with a agility dodge roll to try and get away from... I don't. I'm, I think I'm cursed in more ways than one. Is that another eight? It's an eight. You have rolled eight four times in a row. I don't think that. Is, that is, uh, do you bring bad loaded <laughs> dice? <laughs> bring, yeah, I wanted to really fuck myself over. Uh, uh, I got a nine. A nine. Yeah. Uh, well, you can take D four damage Look, from that. This one. Two. Uh, Two you do have your armor damage. As well. Oh, but I got my armor, so zero. Uh, so you will always take a minimum of one damage oh, okay. uh, one, from, one. A, from a thing. Down to four. Four health. Nice. Uh, and I'm then 
for a turn. There will be, well, Cudgel Goblin is just going to hit you again. Oh, nice. Perfect. Uh, because goblins are the worst. Right. And he doesn't care about a balanced uh, fair no. fight. And no one else is really... Actually, no, he's being strangled, isn't he? Mm. I feel like he's probably going to follow those blood tendrils and charge at Cardinal Kettle and swing Woo! swing his club <laughs> at you. Can I get an agility a dodge roll? Nine. Uh, that is not a dodge. Uh, you're going to take D4 damage from this. I'm on one HP. Oh, there goes old Cardinal. Yep. Uh, four. Four <laughs> damage. Yep. Even if you reduce Great. it by two, you're still going to be unconscious. Yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. You have got a shattered limb, uh, which <clears throat> just sounds super, super duper bad. Roll me a d20. Ooh. I know it well. I know it well. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five. Okay, you shattered your collarbone. <laughs> uh, it's not a limb. Well, limb. it's a body part. A sure. body part. You, you've, you've got a smashed smashed body part there um so um, am i dead no you're you're alive but okay you are very very bad do shape. i stay at one hp or so you'll be sticking around at uh sort of zero hp zero okay I'm, I'm assuming like every time we take damage at zero we begin worse things happen oh to us. yeah it yeah. would be getting significantly worse yeah. now um and the shattered collarbone <sighs> where i think that's probably going to be a sort of just minus one to your strength from this point on Okay. Um, unless you can get that properly, probably healed. Uh, can I get another agility roll from the arrow goblin? Is going to shoot you again. <laughs> you fucking. Oh. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. That's a dodge, baby. That's a dodge. Good <laughs> job. Ooh. Uh, this just arrow goes wide. It could be to do with this goblin is <laughs> about pretty to die. close to dying. <laughs> Uh, okay, great. All the goblins have sort of done done their things. It is the top of the round again. Uh, can I get a d4 on the stocky goblin who's wailing on you with his ladle? Do they still take the, my strangle damage? Yeah, so you just notice the goblin that's on the so roof. So I'm like coming to at this point, like... <gasps> uh, two damage on stocky. Two damage on stocky, great. Uh, he's looking super duper ill. And the one on the rooftop just drops off the side of it. Uh, splats onto the, you know, the packed earth of the floor and is just so dead. Yep. He's just super dead. Okay, nice. And all the weird blood tendrils shoot back into my arm. Love that. Love that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're still uh, dealing with the stocky goblin who is just swinging a ladle around. Um, there's a goblin currently attacking Bungus and another <gasps> just kind of tussling with ducks. What? Oh, yeah. It's fine. Demon ducks. Yeah. Demon ducks. I think that Duke Belson will just literally grab the stupid sword that he hates so much on the oh, ground. Oh, the boy is awake <laughs> again. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and then I'm going to try and stab the stocky goblin in the back uh, as I'm... Sort of Always the back attack with this <laughs> cowardly boy. <laughs> it's tactically effective. Can't stay awake. Uh, that is only going to be a seven. So it's not a fumble, but it is a miss. Okay. Pathetic as always. Look, <laughs> look at the proud Duke, the Duke of Missing. <laughs> Jeez, at this stage, I'd rather be wielded by Jingly John of anyone. <laughs> Jingly John is here as well. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, could I activate yeah. Jingly John? Oh, uh, shit. We should have activated no, him already. I, if I activate him now, maybe I was thinking, okay. like, I'm like, now that I'm conscious, I'm like, Jingly John, get in here and help us! Hello, everybody, it's me, Jingly John. I'm going to sing my combat song. <laughs> Does have a combat like song? He's a bard. Uh, yeah, he basically. So is. weirdly, he is like a bard. <laughs> That's a benefit. He Would you like to yeah. explain? So Jingly John, uh, while practically useless, personally irritating and emotionally done an emotional drain, uh, his capering actually makes enemies lose their focus in combat. Um, For the first two rounds, it should have been at the start, but right. we'll just activate it now. You and your allies get plus two on attack and defense. Oh, wow. So oh, wow, that would have been on, really useful a few days ago. Been, it would have been, but yeah, wow. we both kind of forgot about it. Uh, <laughs> but we'll activate him now. Look, Jiggly okay. John, he was round the corner. Yeah, he's, um, he's cowardly. He was... Dancing for, you know, peasants. Pe peasants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Who actually appreciate him. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah, he was in the bar having some of the nut stew and uh now he's coming. Nuts around. in hot water. It's mm -hmm. nuts in hot water. Yeah. 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 But yeah, now I've summoned him, he's like 
Hello, everybody. Uh, and has joined up, joined up with you guys. Nice. So he's active now, so everyone gets plus two to their attacks. Yeah, defense. plus two to attack and defense, which is pretty pretty like actually pretty good yeah it's it wouldn't really have actually good. changed my role as well like my role wouldn't have changed from that so anyway uh that's me done um i guess lying crumpled on the floor of my broken collarbone i'll like try reach out and cast more blood tendrils at the pot man uh sure yeah cast away now this isn't an attack so you didn't get a plus two Ooh, for me. so that's uh six six that is not a successful cast. Uh, you are going to take D2 damage. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh oh. Am I rolling on the table? I got a one. A one! I'm okay. on zero hit points. Okay, great. Um, you are now nauseated. Uh, all tests are. Uh, all dice rolls you need to make are going to be at minus four. <laughs> Until you take a moment to drink fresh water and vomit. <laughs> oh. Drink vomit? <laughs> no, you've got to... Drink fresh water and then, and then vomit. vomit. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, you are feeling super duper ill. Um, I'm just sobbing now. Uh, and <laughs> for the next hour, I think it is. Holy shit. Uh, if you try and cast a spell, um, we'll be rolling on the Arcane Catastrophes table if you fail to cast any failure, not just a, a fumble. Okay. Uh, okay, so remind me what the situation with the goblins. Are they they almost dead? There's a goblin with lady shoes uh, who is currently fighting a duck. Uh, <laughs> saucepan hat goblin is mm. being attacked by two ducks. One just pecked out its eye mm. and it did just swing its sword at you, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. doing a tiny little bit of damage. Uh, there is one with a cudgel who is bearing down on Duke Kettle, but is currently choking. Um, and uh, Belsum uh, has swung, and the sword is making mm. fun of him. I don't know whether to turn into a ret or not, or save it for another time. I just we well, do have the the Jingly John is giving you that bonus as uh, well. So. so just swing, swing your weapon. I think I'm just going to swing with my. Hand axe again. Great. 20, and this 20, time, 20, I'm not 20, going to roll 20, an eight. 20, Come on. 20. Six. <laughs> Six. So you get a So I rolled an eight. You always roll an eight. <laughs> wow. Have you got any omens? Oh, my God. I've only got one. Oh. I've only got one omen. You could use it, but you'd probably roll an eight again. I would. <laughs> I, I mean, I am literally cursed. Uh, all right. Great, you swing, swing and a miss. the saucepan hat, just still, oh, every time, just Jesus. banging that saucepan oh. on, its, on its head. Oh, jeez. Okay. That must be really irritating. It's really irritating. Mm, he's he's, that's angrier. why he keeps attacking back. Mm. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, uh, God damn it. And, uh, Colin. Ducks. Um, okay, I guess I roll for the what the ducks are doing, the demon ducks. Yeah, I think just give us another sort of blanket, blanket-esque roll. Uh, okay, a presence. Just to see how they're one. four. They're just creating a hearty distraction against all these goblins. Uh, Do I re-roll that again? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I got so many omens. Very powerful. <laughs> Duck. Twenty. Oh! Twenty. Oh! Okay, you know what? You know what I'll say about that? That twenty all the ducks are gonna hit. <laughs> eyes of, is all gone. Of the two remaining goblins, they only have three eyes, and there are three ducks. They pluck out all the remaining eyes of these nice. goblins, blinding the two that are in front of you. Amazing. And they are going to be in terrible shape. Yeah. Well, Excellent. they they will continue to attack. Actually, no. At this stage, I'm miss. pretty sure they're going to. They're just going to try and run. Yeah. Uh, and you don't want them to run, though. Because if they get away... We have to kill them! Uh, both goblins just delta split from you in opposite directions. Unfortunately, they are kind of like still in this alleyway and both just slam into walls. <laughs> <laughs> and are both fairly incapacitated. Uh, looking real sad. Real unhappy. Um, and the one with the ladle... He's going to fall to the ground dead as he chokes to death. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah, he chokes to death. Great. Uh, so we can finish off those two that sort of like knocked themselves out. Oh, the coward is, of course, he'll 
stab the pathetic I'm, little I'm goblin. I'm gonna see that. Oh, no, I'm putting it on the... <laughs> I pull out my little knife and I go and just, do exactly what Oh, sword God, sword. just go and. It's like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. I've, got a, I've got like a knife, a short sword, and I'm like. <laughs> murder. Oh, we have to kill the goblins so we become the goblins. <laughs> The murder. You've, yeah, you have successfully solved the goblin goblin riddle. Nice. Uh, um, please don't please don't pay any attention to what the sword said. <clears throat> it's fine. Um, well, those. I'm sorry about that. I just saw that goblin and sort of it all sort of came over me, and I was enraged, and so I wanted to kill it. And then I, there was more of the goblins than I expected. The important thing is we saved that three-legged dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. the dog is there. <laughs> I forgot about the dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, like hops along up to you oh, and oh, 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 gives oh, oh. you guys a sniff and it just looks real friendly. Oh. There you go. New friend acquired. Sweet boy. You have acquired a friend. Uh, Tom, how do we get hit points back? <laughs> uh, you can rest. <laughs> can we rest? Are yeah. you ready to hear the word of the Lord? No. <laughs> no. I shall read to you from the book of... The blasphemous Nebrabel Babel. No, <laughs> you can let me speak yep. to you all. Uh, nope, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I okay. want to go rest in the inn. That's what not did good. you roll? I rolled a five. A five. You're casting. Uh, oh no, the the Bible. That's the Bible. Fine. Do you want to use an omen or anything to? I'm out of omens. It's a failure. Right, right. uh, let me read this very small text. Um, when read, roll a die. Even results uh, for the rest of the day, player characters heal a d4 after just five minutes of rest. Odd results, the priest is plagued by demonic hallucinations. The DM may uh, invent d3 things that only the priest can see and describe them to the player as if true. The effect ends with sunrise okay great uh real real bad times for you then uh i'll let you roll the d3 oh a two okay uh cool i'll be a one on it oh, oh one okay, oh great. one a one okay cool well i've got one thing to just slip in everything everything's fine right now yep i don't know why you're even worried everything's I, fine i read from the book i sob i drink some water to try and un oh, it myself. Okay, yeah, yeah, you vomit. Mm -hmm. You vomit everywhere, but you feel a little bit better. <clears throat> okay. What happened to my demon ducks, by the way? Did they just vanish? Uh, they, uh, as if a duck, like, the, the, like as they're like walking along, you know how ducks like dip under the water? They yeah. do that just like into the ground, mm -hmm. into like black fire circles oh, that's burst nice. up. That's cool. And they laugh as they do it. <laughs> and a duck chuckle. Yeah. Duck chuckle. Yeah. And they return back to the a duck duckle. nether realm. <laughs> duck, uh, <laughs> duck hell. <sighs> wow. What an adventure. I really hope that you're enjoying this. If you'd like to support us, maybe consider becoming a member or leave us a comment. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.